Hello friends, welcome back to Biotech Simplified. Today we will discuss about chromosome painting. Earlier I have done a video on chromosome karyotyping. If you haven't watched it, please do watch it for better understanding. So let us start from the word painting. So from the word painting itself we can understand the basic concept of the chromosome painting. That is a chromosome is made colored so that we are able to visualize the chromosome. So the term chromosome painting was termed by Pinkel et al. in the year 1988. Chromosome painting is always coupled with fluorescent in situ hybridization. So in this technique what happens is that first a probe is selected and the probe is then labeled with fluorescent dye and this is then hybridized with the specific chromosome. So this is how a chromosome painting is done. So let us have a look on the diagram to understand chromosome painting more effectively. So first the DNA fragments from a specific chromosome or a region of chromosome is amplified by PCR and this prop is then labeled with a fluorescent dye. So after it is labeled with a fluorescent dye, it denature and then hybridize to the chromes, the DNA. So this is how we paint the chromosome. So we discussed earlier about labeling prop. So a probe can be delabeled by using two techniques that is direct and indirect that is by using a radioactive which can be P32, S35, C14 and even H3. The second method is by using a fluorescent that is biotin, fluorescein, even by using a dignocygenin. So there are three types that is single target which is based on one color and the next is dual targets which is it is based on two colors and the last is multiple targets that is it is based on multiple colors. So this is how we can characterize fish based on the detection. So fish probes are of four types that is it is centromere probe, telomere probe, whole chromosome paint and locus probe. That is in the first case that is in centromere probe it goes and paints only the centromere region whereas in telomere it goes and paints the telomere region. Same is the case in locus and in whole chromosome paint the whole chromosome is being painted. So these are some of the chromosome painting. So it can be syndrome painting, telomere painting, locus painting and it can be even whole chromosome painting. Now let us see what are the uses of chromosome painting. First it helps in the identification of chromosomal rearrangements. Second it also helps in the identification of chromosome breakpoints. Third, it also helps in determination of extra chromosomal material. So these are the most common uses of chromosome painting. So how do we visualize the chromosome painting? So we visualize it by using a fluorescent microscope. So a fluorescent microscope should have a CCD camera, filters, and it is visualized in a fish analyzing software. So now let us quickly describe what is the procedure of chromosome painting. The first step is preparation of the slides with metaphase chromosomes. After that it is dehydrated in ethanol and then denature the DNA at 70 degrees Celsius. The denature label probe. Then the last step is to incubate at 37 degrees Celsius for 4 to 16 hours for hybridization. So this is a quick procedure of chromosome painting. 
So now let us look at diagram A. Diagram A is the chromosome without chromosome painting, whereas diagram B represents chromosome painting. So by chromosome painting, the basic agenda of doing chromosome painting is that we can visualize the chromosome. So now let us look what are the advantages of doing fish. First, it is rapid. And the second point is that high efficiency of hybridization and detection is seen. The last is that lots of cells can be analyzed. So these are the most important advantages of doing fish. So since we looked at the advantages, let's look at the opposite side, that is the problems that we face by doing in situ hybridization. The problems we face is that the permeabilization. So the permeabilization is a major problem in chromosome painting as well as uneven cell penetration and high amount of background autofluorence is also the problems that we face by doing chromosome painting. So hope you found this video useful. For more such videos, do subscribe to our channel Biotech Simplified.